Hey guys, Moose here, this time with another figure review, this time of the Play Arts Kai Skull Face from Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Uh, hopefully you can see him there without all this glare, but he does come with quite a few things, much like the other figures in the series, he does come with the window box in the front. We do see an awesome picture of him holding the hat there on the side, and then on the other side we do get a few awesome poses, poses says Skull Face right there, as well as shows him in a few different stances. And then on the other side, we do get the Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain, Play Arts Kai, uh, much like the other stuff, or the uh, promotionals that we're getting for the game. So, let's go ahead and get into the review. So here he is, the Play Arts Kai Skull Face uh, from the Phantom Pain. He looks very cool. As you can see, a lot of different textures with him. You have this plastic on the coat. You have a lot of, you know, shininess with the vest, as well as in the mask here. Uh, let me go over the accessories and some of the extra stuff he comes out with first. So first off, he does come with kind of a sawed off shotgun here. So as you can see, the detail is very nice. You get kind of a leopard print on the wood, or maybe that's supposed to be wood grain. You do get a turquoise there, as well as more of the wood grain on the stock. Uh, this is also one of the extra hands he gets to use that sawed off shotgun. The only thing I would say is that the finger doesn't go into the trigger, so it's kind of just sitting there. It would have been nicer if we did have that. And then looking at the muzzle, it does kind of look sawed, um, shot off there. So that's very cool. He does come with two other hands as well. These kind of open hands. This one, uh, both of them can be used to kind of, you know, put above the uh, hat that he wears. Uh, that I haven't showed off yet. Or they can be used to, you know, have this pose that's in the background with him kind of open armed. Uh, he does come with his hat here, which looks very nice. We do kind of like the broken material here with the paint. So that looks very cool. Same thing on the other side. So that's a very nice touch as well as he does come with a second head. So as you can see here, it looks very nice. Those eyes look great in there, as well as the scarring on the face. So uh, as we can see the awesome face sculpt that's on the masked face here, I actually had to mess around with this just because when I did buy him at Comic-Con, the mask was a little off, I had to work it in a little bit. So to change the head out is very easily, you could just go ahead and try to pop it off there. Like I said, it is a ball joint. And then here's the other face here that we kind of saw in the first trailer. So we go ahead and work that on. It pops and it's good to go. And then same thing with that. If you have the hat there, um, you just kind of have to make sure the hat is on the right way. And you can actually do something like that. It does, you know, do a lot, um, kind of suction to the head. That's very nice. So you can get these kind of dynamic shots. Very Clint Eastwood-ish, I guess. Uh, as well as, you know, I wanted to show off the detail of that patch, of the Zoff patch there on the, on the chest. So with the articulation of the figure here, um, he is hindered by the coat a little bit, so as always, we'll try to start off uh, from the top down. So with his arms, the arms go up about that far. They are hindered by the coat. They come down about that far. Um, he can do 360 degree, but it is hindered by the coat, so you don't want to mess around with that. I can already see like some of the things that seem like they're going to come off. Um, right here, he does do more than 90, and then 360 degree at the elbow. So if you wanted to get some of the arms out poses, it does work. At the wrist, 360 as well, and they do go up and down or front and back depending on how you have that joint. With the other side, same thing, more than 90, 360 degree at the elbow and 360 at the wrist. And then going to the face, we do get up about that far, we do get down about that far, and then he can do this little kind of chicken waddle here, because uh, he has the joint at the bottom of the neck as well as at the base of the head. So that's very nice, so you can have him look over like that or look over like that. It's very nice to have that kind of double ball joint in the neck as well as at the bottom of the neck. So going down, um, as you can see here, his awesome vest here, along with his awesome bullet um, belt. He does go forward about that far and does go back about that far. As you can see, you can start to see some of the joints in there, but with this coat, you can't really see them when it's closed. And if, even if you have the coat kind of off to the back, you still can't see that. And then the coat, you know, you can throw these hands back and it does hold the coat back. So that's a very nice touch if you want to get these dynamic kind of like wind blowing shots. Uh, going to the other leg, the leg goes about up about that far. It is hindered by this uh, waist piece. Can go back about that far. Can have a, or he does have a double joint knee. So they do ratchet. So if you want to go ahead and put one straight, you can get that one 90. And then you can go a little more than 90 there too. So that's very nice. As well as uh, these, the corduroy pants actually go the whole way, so that's very nice. And as you can see, there is a holster here for that sawed-off shotgun. And then going down to the bottom here, same thing on the other side, you can't do more than 90. And then going down to these awesome cowboy boots that he has, 
Uh, there's no movement here at the top of the boot. It is a soft plastic, so you can kind of move the bottom boot around. It does go up, um, up about that far, down about that far. So if you wanted to, he could, you know, be Michael Jackson right there. That looks very much like Michael Jackson pose. Um, he can't do any side to side. More than likely, the joint is much like the wrist to where you kind of have to work it around to get the those poses there. So that is pretty much it for the articulation. So we'll go ahead and get him into some poses and actually get him with the other figures in the uh, Phantom Pain line. Hey guys, so here it is with uh, the other figures in the collection. As you can see, if you're as cool as me, no, I'm joking, but uh, if you're, you know, composure figure, something close to this, or even something cooler, you end up having a really cool scene uh, with Skullface, Snake, as well as Quiet. Um, Quiet looks awesome in the background with their sniper rifle and even Snake with uh, his kind of action pose here. But we're focusing on this guy in the front, Skullface. So as you can see uh, with him and his sawed-off shotgun on the side, he looks super cool. Not to mention the coat is bendable, like I had said before. So you get these really nice kind of flowy things with uh, with the coat. As well as you do get these awesome keys. I did forget to mention that when I was showing him off. And this is on like a metal um, ring that you can actually, you know, the keys are movable as you can see here. So if you wanted to, you could actually, you know, have the coat bend a little more and move his hand down like he's actually about to grab those keys and things like that so it adds you know more um, of a dynamic scene to your figures so that's very cool if you do get the chance to get this guy get him I think I ended up picking him up for a hundred dollars uh, at San Diego comic-con I think it might have been an early release as well um, so if you're able to get him definitely pick him up having him with the extra head the different hands as well as the sawed-off shotgun is awesome especially if you're gonna end up getting you know one of the snakes to kind of have him back in the background you know recreate these scenes from either the trailers or the game definitely a must-have if you're a Metal Gear fan as well I know Captain Holiday is over here uh, admiring my, my my skull face go ahead pick yours up Moustache again peace